And now, from the John Wayne Stadium, is week three of the Women's Division Show on Chow Racing! Everyone is on the clock and ready to go! Let's have a Chow Race! Here we have Olivia Forte, battling against Karen Crosby, at Rose Lisa Tango to start off the third week of the Women's Division Show for the 2021 season. And Karen's making her way across the finish line right now. And she is going to us. That will give Olivia Fortin the victory as we begin week week signing action with an epic down to the wire dramatic race affair. Now, once again, here is the host of Chat Racing himself, Brandon Channing. All right, thanks again, Paul, and what a way to start off the third week of the Women's Division show with a dramatic finish. A big congratulations to Olivia Fortin on a fine victory. Don't worry, Karen, you done very well, too. She'll win eventually, I'm sure of that. Back for race number two, after we present a word from this. So, that was indeed a dramatic win for Olivia Fortin in the first race. Let's see if race number two will do more on the same. We'll find out soon up, Brandon, as race number two will feature the two fastest runners of the 2021 Women's of Divas. It's Molly Brown and Joanne Folksley, along with Abby Hubbardton. It's off to the Amethyst course we go. Let's see which one of them will have a better chance at the running game. Best of luck to these three divas, and please start the race! Okay, we're watching Maui Brown and Joanne Folksley. Maui trying her best to stay undefeated for the season, while Joanne Folksley also doing her best efforts to run for a Cinderella season in the Women's Division Championship title. Molly and, and Joanna are walking at the cutboard, but in just a few moments, they should be on their way right about now. And here they come, as Joanne folks, we fly a little bit with the first b bus at this base. Ooh, it's going to be a close one. Meanwhile, a couple of silver chow are at the water path, trying desperately to stay alive in the game. Looks like number seven has to lead over the five silver chow with four place. And as number six takes the next beamers, Joanne Folksley and Smalley Bob's undefeated run tonight. Joanne is the better runner and now she deserves the win. Poor number one can just forget about this race. And we like to congratulate Joanne Folksley. Yep, kudos about Joanne and Molly on a swear one the game and there's more something coming up. Do not go away. Okay then, uh, who do we have again for race number three, Paul? It's Sasha against Bolo, Garen Combs, and True Dino Delgado. That's what we have for race number three. It'll be held on a sapphire course. Sasha and Garen got the first win of their season last week. Will either one of them have a chance to make it two wins in a row this week? We're about to find out right now. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, let's rock this place! And it looks like one of Chow is going to mess. Number six to be as that. And down goes Sasha Gizpo. That's going to cost a boo or two. And down goes one of Silver Chow too. And that Silver Chow is bossing one more. So he will have to join number six for a deal life. Number two trying to defend the lead over Sasha Gizpo at the come one. As number seven will start the speed bus. And down goes Sasha again. Number seven and score to mess. And so is number two. Sasha gets bowed, now has command of the lead. Truth Dino Togao, right on her tail in second place. And number eight, who desperately needs some help, takes Beavis number two. But do you think he needs more help than that? We'll soon know. Sasha gets bowed, back up in front, trying to defend the lead over Truth Dino Togao, going for his second straight victory here tonight. As number six will get the next command, Beavis. Sasha gets bowed, should have a little bit of breathing room ahead of Truth Dino to come. Right? Yep. Sasha is going to win this one easily. As Galen Combs will have the next command, Beamers, you can tell me one of for Sasha Gizboro. That's going to be followed by Trudy and the guy in second place. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus on this base. And it will be made by number one. So, Sasha is now even at his win loss records. She's now at 2 and 2, Paul. And there's more assignment coming up. Do not go away.
And now it's time for race number four, Paul. Bounding on the first half of this week's races, we have last year's runner-up, Brianna Simon, Christina Bannon, who is Antonio's wife, and Lisa Marigold. All three of these divas really need to get a move on if they want to get wins to qualify for next season's roster. There's look in the lineup. Let's see who's got the talents to win as we take you now to the movie quest. Everyone is on the clock and good luck to these three divas. Let's have a chow race. And number six is going to lead the way for the eight chow right now. <clears throat> Number six and number two are bowing for the lead ahead of Lisa Malgo in the come one. Lisa Malgo currently having the best position. Bowing with number two for second place. And who is going to get the speed bus? It's going to be number one. He's going to come in first place. Number six comes in second. And with a third place result, Lisa Malgo gets her first win of the 2021 season. That's my plan. And coming out, we got more exciting action for you. But first, have a look at this. Okay, tell us who we have for this next race. Race number five, the start of the second half of Week Freeze Women's Division action. It's going to be on the power course, and it will feature Erica Fellows, Carol Donner, our defending women's champion, and Umiza De Lajuris. The players are lined up ready to go, and the balls are being placed on the field. Good luck to these three divas, and let's rock this place! Erica, Carol, and Umiza. Pushing the balls to the other side. The one who makes it to the finish line first, no matter where they stand, is the winner of this race. And Miser D. Joyce is going to rest. So Carol Donna will have the win here tonight over Erica Fellows. And now she moves one step closer towards preparing a repeat title this season. You said it, Paul. Coming up, we got more signing action for you, but first have a look at this. And for race number six, Paul, Rita Raposi, Amina Fuga, and Camilla Lane. That's what we have for race number six. And the Amethyst course is where we're going to have it. Let's look at the lineup. Rita Raposi trying to fulfill a player run this season. Will she get the job done? We're about to find it right now. Let's have a chair race. And the three demons are off and running here on the Amethyst course. Week 3 has been a dramatic yet exciting week so far for our 24 women's division divas. Right now, Rio Pulse is battling with Amita and Camilla for the lead up in the front. And it looks like, yep, Rio Pulse is going to take a chance at the water. Oh, we want to see a chow. The other two chow decide to with the bridges. Number one is going rest. And Camilla with a speed mask, but Goku already won. Rita Raposi is the winner of this race. She paid off her shortcut strategy. That was an excellent decision by Rita Raposi, and now she tallies up a fine win. Well, who will have speed mask number two? It's number one, Atsu. Trying to catch up with the other two challenge, Harry. And number seven passes for one. So now he will be stranded in last place behind number two. And number seven will get a speed bus, and now it's going to do it. So, we will policy with a dominating Amethyst horse victory. That's correct, Paul. And we'll have another sign race for you after we find out what from this. Alright, two more races left for week three's women's measured action. Alright, first up for race number seven, we have Ingrid Ballo, Sandy McDonald, and Bailey Singer. So they'll have to do some business on the Sapphire Quest as we continue to proceed the action here in the Virtual Chowry Stadium with fans chilling on in the audience. Let's see who's gonna win this one. Best of luck to these three divas and please start the race! And Bailey Singer is quarter rest. So let's watch Ingrid and Sandy. These two have control of the opening edge. Oh, down goes Ingrid. Take it easy, Ingrid. You have command of the lead, but watch your step next time. Anyway, Sandy McDonald is going by way with number six for second place. And Ingrid pauses for one. So he and, num and number she and number six will catch up to her in a hurry. As number seven wins the opening toss for his base. And right now, number eight is quarter rest. So now he will have to drop down the last place and down goes one still a chance for the count. They're all climbing up the star wall trying to get to the finish line as quickly as possible. 
and he is standing with Donald with B West number two. She passes Ingrid Barrow and number six, who are both going to mess. Standing with Donald should be in the first approach home stretch, but there's still time for Ingrid and Bailey to catch up to our curly and come one. Will it make it happen? We'll soon know. As number one, well, the next to SBS, and Luke, who is able to get back the lead from Sammy McDonald. Ingrid leading for the second time in this race, and he, she is going to hold on for the victory this time. As Bailey Singer takes next Pimas, Ingrid Barrow improves the 500 over her competitors. Ingrid never gave up for her beauties, Paul. Lots more fun after this announcement. Stay tuned. Now, to close out this week's races, we have a very important race featuring our favorite little chickadee out there. Tell us why. Okay, race number 8 features the only undefeated superstar left in contention, Tony Griffin, as she takes on Pauline Carter and Elena Booker on the Emma Quest. If Tony wins tonight's race, she'll be the only undefeated superstar left at 4-0. Can she do it? We'll find out soon enough. It's going to be a toughie out there, but I know anyone think can happen. Best of luck to these three divas, and let's have a challenge! Alright, Tony, Pauline, and Alina are all we have left for week three's women's mission show, and to close out our schedules for this week on challenging. Tony and Pauline are dancing to the beat, that means Alina will have full control of the lead. And she is going to be heading for the water, she paid off her shortcut easily. As the first superstar against Beepers is number 8, who is numbers 1 and 2 in the dust. And there goes Alina Booker, way up in the front. Right now, Pauline and Carter trying her best to defend second place. As number 8, over this one arm, with back-to-back -back speed There she goes, she's flying a little bit. She's still doing her best to prevent number 1 and 2 from making the miracle comeback in the early one. Which one of them is going to get some help? It's going to be number 1 who gets it. By now, Elena Booker has a commanding lead. Trying to even his win-loss records at 2 and 2, if she wins this one tonight. Good strategy so far by Elena. Let's hope she keeps it up. As we head back into number one. That makes two in a row by two in a row for number eight and number one, respectively. All speedbirds are consecutive so far. Meanwhile, Pauline Carter might mean to hurry up if she wants to catch up to Elena in a hurry. But I think that's always next time. Next BS belongs to number six. And now she's catching up to number seven for the lead over the five so it's out. Oh, and down goes number one for the count. They are getting left behind along with number two. And here's Tony Griffin with the next beam us. But, but our big winner of this race is... Elena Booker! Right over here! Elena Booker wins this one with her shortcut strategy. She made a fine gamble to pay off on the top of the hill. And who will get the next command beam us? It's number two who desperately needs the helm. Looks like Pauline Carter's gonna come in second, and Tony Griffin can just accept this loss. She'll come in third place. Oh well, there's still always the rest of the season for Tony Griffin. And Alina Booker, what a strategy you made. Congratulations on an order for you. I agree with you, Paul. Lots more fun when we come back to close on our show. Do not go away. We're done for tonight, fans. If you want to stay up to date on all of the Channel Empress latest videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We'll have more exciting channel racing action next week on the same channel. Until then, this is Brad Shang signing off. Keep on smiling and so long, everybody! Channel Racing 2021 has been sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance and I hop. This is Paul Sycamore signing off. Join us again for more signing action here on Chat We Sing 2021. See you next week.